hey guys welcome back to clarity chart analysis and in this video i'll be using the market structure to tell us the current position of helium on the price market chart and also using market structure to predict the next possible move of helium but first guys if you're new to this channel i want to know our current position on the price market chart you want to know the next possible move of helium please subscribe like and put on the notification to be notified anytime i drop a new video so guys our major three questions we'll be answering in this question is what's our current position and what's the next possible move of our daily time frame our four hour time frame and our one hour time frame our daily time frame stands as a major structure our four hour time frame stands as a minor stroke our internal structure why our one hour time frame is a fractal structure so guys the most recent break of structure we saw on our daily time frame was a break of structure to the downside and guys remember my emphasis on this channel that after every break of structure what should we expect we should expect a pullback right so guys currently now i want a pullback freeze so on our daily time frame now currently we saw just we should Currently, we, saw, we just saw a break of structure to the downside. Sure, we're on a pullback phase following the, the same structure because this swing was actually what gave us this lower low. And guys, you will see price giving us an higher eye. Price came back down, but price did not take out this low that gave us this higher eye. So from there again, we saw another break of structure to the upside. So guys, currently now, we are still on a pullback freeze on our daily time frame. So, so guys, let's go back to our four-hour time frame. Let's go see what price is doing on our four-hour time frame. Well, let's know that on our major structure, which is our daily time frame, price is trading between this upper swing and this lower swing. So, guys, on our four-hour time frame, what do we notice? Let me take out these lines. So guys, on our far time frame, it was actually the swing that gave us this lower low on our far time frame. So same price giving us an eye and press pullback. And we saw another break of structure to the upside. And after that, we saw a pullback and another break of structure to the upside. Expecting a pullback, instead we got a break of structure to the downside. Thinking price is done with a pullback freeze. But instead of a pullback, we saw another Break of structure now back to this point. Press pull back to this point before so another break of structure to the downside. Hopefully, we're thinking okay, price is ready to take out this lower sink. But instead, we saw price broke structure to the upside and pull back and broke structure again to the upside. So, guys, currently we are still on a bullish trend on our four hour time frame. Why on our daily time frame we are on a bearish trend? Which is still a pullback so currently now guys on our far time frame now we are on an impulsive phase because we just saw break of structure to the downside to the upside why our daily time frame we saw a break of structure to the downside so guys now currently prices between on our far time frame between this swing So guys now currently now on our far time frame we saw we just saw a break of structure to the upside which just shows that we're still bullish and now currently now price is between this swing and this swing and guys remember our major emphasis that after every break of structure we should expect a pullback guys are we on the pullback phase on the far time frame for us to be on the pullback phase we expected price to come back down and take out this swing but as long as price is not taking out this swing then let's not be surprised that we'll continue seeing more break of structure to the upside guys let's go back to a one hour time frame let's go see what the price is doing on our one hour time frame so guys on our one hour time frame too we expected price to take out this swing because it was actually the swing that gave us this eye so guys currently now price has not taken out this swing so we are still on a bullish trend too on our one hour time frame and the most recent break of structure too we saw was a break of structure to the upside so guys to fill back our table or to fill back our questions So guys, 
currently now on our daily time frame we still on the pullback phase and on our four time phase on our four time frame we are on an impulsive set to the upside which is this why even on our one hour time frame so guys currently if i will be do if you'll be doing anything based on market structure price is still pulling back which is to the upside but remember that we just broke structure to the downside so our daily time frame is upside which is our pullback our impulsive phase is actually a pullback but upside our four time frame too is an impulsive phase we're still we are still on our upside and even on our time frame so guys all three are aligned to be bullish so anything you'll be doing on the market structure you should be long in the market you should be you should be on the bullish trend now short in the market so guys thank you for watching this video and if you're new to this channel please subscribe like put on the notification to be notified anytime i drop a new video